as a rule, I have no interest in adult animations. I don't care for Family Guy or American Dad or Futurama or any of them. Not that I've ever really given them the proper time of day. It's just not something that I'm drawn to. But I do love Lauren Ash. So I thought I'd check out the first episode of Chicago Party Ant. And there are a few things I'm really impressed with. There are a few things that don't appeal to me, but they're done well in the episode. So it seems like a pretty successful series. This was released this year. The first episode aired on the 17th of September. I don't know if it aired anywhere on TV, but it's definitely on Netflix in the UK. Uh, Directed by Joey Adams and Michael Mayfield, starring, as I said, Lauren Ash as our Chicago party aunt, Diane Dombrowski. And we also have Rory O'Malley as Daniel and RuPaul as as Gideon. Um, Now, Diane is not a likeable character in one respect. She's not my kind of person. I'm not a party animal. Diane is living in a a property she rents from her sister. Um, Her sister is, you know, high society. Diane doesn't have two pennies to scrape together. She'd rather go out drinking than do anything particularly cultural and you know she swears she doesn't really care that much about things but she does love her nephew which is important and something that needs to be remembered and that's really interesting because on the one hand she's not likable if you're not that kind of person but you can tell she has a really good heart really loves her nephew and really wants the best for him and that's something that comes across quite quickly and that's something i'm interested in for the future episodes and i will discuss that in a moment so The first episode is actually really great insofar as we get to know Diane as a character very quickly and very easily. There's no pussyfooting about. It's very much, I'm Diane, this is who I am, this is what you can expect from me. And Laura Nash's voice acting is ridiculously amazing. I obviously knew she was a fantastic actor. I love her in Superstore. But the voice acting here is profound. It is incredible. And yeah, the voice acting in all of the for all of the characters uh, is really good. But Diane really expresses through her voice and her intonations, and I'm just so impressed. Absolutely fantastic. If she doesn't win any awards for that voice acting, I'm going to be pretty upset. The actual episode itself, I don't think, is award worthy. It's a little funny, mostly shocking. Daniel is a character um, I really liked. I thought he worked very well as a character, as the nephew. It was quite moving, but I feel like the first episode was interesting, but didn't have that much going for it. It was more about setting up the characters and telling us what we can expect. The actual narrative itself didn't really give us any indication of what's to come. I don't know what the next episode will be about. Will Diane break the law? Will she get a new job? Will she hurt somebody? Will she? I, I literally do not know what these episodes are going to be about because this is very much setting up the character, the location, and the role that her nephew is now playing in Diane's life. And that shift in, I guess, the, the shift in responsibilities and what, what her nephew is going to have in his life going forward. I don't know what the episodes are going to be about. And I'm really curious. The episode, this one, has hooked me in with some pretty decent animation, some interesting character contrasts. The dichotomy between Diane and her nephew is pretty striking and could lead us to some pretty interesting um, plot premises and concepts. That sentence was very poorly developed. (laughs) But uh, themes is the word I'm looking for. It could lead to some pretty interesting themes with the coming episodes. And I'm curious. I don't know what to expect. I like this enough that I'm intrigued. I'm not desperate to binge watch it. I'm not going to watch the second episode immediately just because I am satisfied with the first episode and not that bothered about rushing into it. But I am curious. It has whetted my appetite. Although I'm not the biggest fan, as I said, of adult animation, I'm at least curious to see the second episode. If you've seen the first episode and you liked it, let me know what you think of it. If you haven't seen it, at least give the first episode a chance. As I said, it it wasn't 
It's not my kind of thing. But I'm curious. I want to see what else it has in store. And Laura Nash is amazing. Chicago Party Ant is, so far, pretty good.